Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our multi-map feature, Inner Aim Infinity. We're gonna find we have the ability to have four different spark timing tables and four different target lambda tables. That essentially gives us four different tunes within the same session or calibration file. So if we wanted to switch between pump and race gas, we could do that without creating a new calibration file. We can simply just use a toggle switch to go between our pump and a race gas. And we can also use a multi-position trim pot like the AEM 12 position trim pot to have the ability to switch on the fly between four different spark timing tables and four different lambda target tables. So if you wanted to have different power levels, let's say on a naturally aspirated engine, you'd be able to accomplish this by having different spark timing in your wide open throttle areas of operation. So there's gonna be all kinds of things we may want to use this feature for. I'm going to walk you through this for both situations, for using all four tables with a trim pot, as well as using just two of the tables with a on or off toggle switch is going to be the more common way to use these. Uh, we'll go through everything in this video so it's very clear how to set this up on your vehicle. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our multi-map feature in our AM Infinity. The multiple map feature is going to allow us to have up to four different ignition timing tables and up to four different lambda target tables as we're finding right here. We can use these for a wide variety of applications. So we might have a pump gas tune and a race gas tune. We could accomplish doing both within one session file or the calibration for our infinity. We wouldn't have to create separate tune files. Now, the way this is going to work, and it might be a little bit confusing or you might not understand how this is going to work by having our different lambda target tables, we have our volumetric efficiency table right here. This estimates the air mass that's coming in and filling our cylinders. So once we've established this table here, we're able to simply just command a different target air fuel and achieve that target air fuel that we're requesting. That's gonna be the idea behind four different lambda target tables. So for example, on pump gas, you might wanna have your in boost, you might wanna have your lambda target values being 11 to one air fuel. On race gas, you might wanna have your uh, boosted areas here targeting 12 to one air fuel. So you could have two different air fuel targets on two different gas types. And that's uh, gonna be kind of the purpose or the reasoning behind this. And the ignition timing tables here will have some of that same kind of functionality. So our ignition table one here could be used for, let's say 93 octane pump gas. And the ignition table two could be used for race gas. So you could have two tunes in the same session file and we could switch between those with a simple on off toggle. We can take this a step further and actually use a multiple position trim pot, such as the AEM 12 position trim pot and actually trim and move between four different ignition timing tables, and then again, the four different target tables. So this might be useful if you're trying to make, let's say, a power to weight for a particular racing class. And uh, you might tune your vehicle, let's say, on your ignition table one here, and you achieve 300 horsepower. And your power to weight dictates that you have to be around maybe 270 horsepower. Well, your ignition table two here, you could pull a couple degrees timing out at full throttle, that could get you down to maybe 280. So you might not be exactly where you need to be at, but it detunes the power a little bit more. Ignition table three here could kill another couple degrees of timing and pull out another 10 or 20 horsepower. That's the table that you might wanna race on and be able to qualify with because that will get you right to your power to weight. And then your table four here will allow you to detune things a little bit further in case you want to maybe race into a different class. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.